Hi everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Shimmers Paints. And today I am doing a kind of rainbow layout. Um, this layout actually went through quite a few transformations and I cut a bunch of that out because I had started this layout so many times and then put it down, walked away, and then came back and started it. And then it sat on my shelf for a while. So um, I'm hopefully going to remember everything that I'm doing here. So I just picked out colors that are sort of rainbow and make me happy. So the yellow is minor minor 49er. Um, the red is, oh, I can't see. I think it's one hot mama. So it's not actually red. It's more of like a hot pink, but I really like that color. Um, the orange is my clementine. The green is refreshment and the blue Oh, I can't remember what the blue is. I think it's the um, Ultramarine, I think is what it's called. So here I jumped ahead. So I'm using this black and white um, pattern paper. And one side of it has a floral, one side of it has this geometric pattern. And so I used a stencil on my background and I used some texture paste or textures um that I've had forever that was from Shimmers and it's called Tidy Whitey and it's just it's like a very textured um like modeling paste or something and so I just put it through a um it's like a chevron stencil and I did that off camera because it takes a little bit to dry and so I did it really quick um one day before I went to work and then let it sit there and so it just made it easier and I'm using this picture of my son and to be honest I have no idea what we're doing I think this might have been like after um, soccer or something like that but I really don't know it's just a cute picture of my son when he was younger and so I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to kind of put these chevron pieces that I had painted I love the way they turn out they are so beautiful the colors are so great um, and so I definitely you know want to use them all I just I can't you know figure out how how I'm gonna get these on here but I do end up coming up with something oh so I use the ultramarine blue I don't even think that's what it is I'm gonna have to double check but I'll have a blog post with this, so you'll be able to click over there and check what the colors exactly are. And I also used that um, that purple color too, which I also can't remember, so I will look it up and put it in the blog post. I really apologize. Um, like I said, it was so long ago, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure the um, blue, though, is the ultramarine, and then the purple, I have to check what it is. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to start sticking this stuff down because I like the way the layout is right now. And so the chevrons, when I was painting them, I painted some of them a little bit thicker and some of them thinner. And luckily I went in color orders, so they got thinner as the color got darker. Um, but yeah. So I just glued them down. I used um, just my ATG and then I'm using this little clip which is from a Vicki Booten collection and I stapled that directly onto my photo. I'm going to use this little piece here that says happiness right here and that is just um, part of one of the cut apart like papers from the Vicki Booten color theory collection. And I wanted to use these two arrows because, you know, they work really well for the color scheme and everything. So I'm going to come up with a, I am going to use the arrows, so I'm going to glue them down here, but I'm going to cut their little tails off and use them in a different way as well. So here, that's the cut apart sheet. And the um, happiness right here that I use is actually from one of the branding strips, so but it's from the Vicki Booten collection. And then I just cut out, there was a little tag on there. And so I like to layer things with tags behind them, not tags, labels. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. 
and I used two dots. One of them says just smile and the other one says awesome. And they're part of one of the black and white collections and I absolutely love them. They go with everything. I mean, if you haven't checked out the dots, they are really one of my, um, I really love using them as embellishments. They are like flare badges, except for they're not metal, so they don't rust. They're just like epoxy stickers. And I really love them. I think they're great. So I highly recommend them. They do come with a little foam dot behind them, but I usually pull that off and then just glue them down. So I'm just going to work on my title here and you're going to see, I'm going to change my mind, but, um, just so you know, if you are ordering from the shop, you can put my name, which is Daisy, in the comments of your order and they will send you a freebie along with your order. It's a great way to get, you know, a, a fun little surprise along. So if you're ordering anyway, just go ahead and put my name in there and then you'll get that, that nice little added treat along with your order. Um, and also there is a Shimmer Shares um Facebook group and I will have the link for that down below as well as the blog um, where everybody posts their projects and there it's just a great place um, to find inspiration and everything so definitely check out the blog as well um, and you know there's Instagram and you know all of the places you usually find and I have links down below for everything so now I am just working on I decided to use this title that says this photo and it has a big heart so it's heart this photo and so I'm going to use that and then I also pulled out a couple of those little swirly things because um, I felt like I needed to put just a little bit more black in there. So I added those in and I think that that is great. And I love the way this turned out so much. And that paint is so shimmery. Um, and you can't really see the textures in the background. But it's really, really, um, it's really there. Like in person you can see it really well. So yeah, I think this is just a fun way, easy way to create a project. You just literally draw little half triangles and yeah. I'm just going to finish this off with some of these puffy epoxy hearts and then that's going to be the end of my layout. So thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to put my name in the comments of your next order so you can get a little freebie and I will see you again next time. Bye!